How's it going guys? Pretty excited today. We've got some uh, Brettles Pythons hatching. So uh, these ones are the Hypo, they're 50% Hypo, 100% Het Stripe, the pair. And uh, again, this is another breeding loan uh, with Nick Mutton, so it's going to be a split clutch between me and Nick. And uh, today I actually want to go over, so I just had the first pip, and I would like to go over cutting eggs. So, here's the first one to pop out. What's up, dude? And egg cutting is one of those things in the hobby that's kind of frowned upon by a lot of people. But then again, you talk to all the people that hatch the most eggs with the most experience and they tend to cut their eggs. So cut or don't cut, whatever, it's up to you. Uh, the way I do it, it was, uh, well, let's find out. I'll show you right now. Okay, so I do not jigsaw these like a lot of people that you will see online. So there's plenty of egg cutting videos out there. This isn't new, but I just don't see why people have to get crazy with it. So I, I don't want the egg tooth to pop out when they're trying to get out of the eggs. This can occasionally happen. This does occasionally happen. So I just do little slits. Just tiny little slits. And that's it. I just want the snake to get out of the egg. That's it. I don't need to peel them back. I don't need to see what morph it is. I wasn't sure whether or not I should do this video, but I figured why not. Obviously you're going to be very careful. I don't recommend picking like a specific day where you're just like, I'm going to cut on day 54, day 55. This is actually day 55. Oh, but I always wait for the first pip. You definitely don't want to go too early. So we should have hypo in here. And some of them will be possible het stripes. And we should have some hypo stripes. Now the hypo is variable in nature, so it is a polygenic trait, meaning it's multiple genes at work, so basically it's line breeding. And when you're working with 50% hypo, kind of like if you're working with 50% zebra, you know, you're going to have some that look, I'm not zebra, I'm sorry. So if you're going to have 50% hypo, then it's going to work similar to like a 50% ivory wood. So they definitely have the hypo look, but not the same as a full blood 100% hypo would. Now again, through selective breeding, you can get there. But we have to start somewhere. The stripe gene is inherently dark. If you look at stripe brettles, most of them are more brown than they are red. So when you throw hypo into the mix, I think we're really going to start to see some lighter stripes, which is rad. Next look awesome that he already hatched from last year. So I don't want to disturb him too much. I'm not going to yank him out of their yolk or anything like that. Just going to let them absorb the rest of what they've got in there and just definitely have a way out. Oh, my gosh. He's so cute. 
cute snakes. Look at that. These guys are so rad. They're rad, man. They're rad.